to my channel it's Ray Song and we are back with our Sims Medieval um, so uh, I think we're going to do the Royal Holiday quest today in our second kingdom uh, everyone needed to take a vacation sometimes even a monarch ruling over people had become a bit tiresome and the time had come to take a trip somewhere that might offer a bit of a break from the day-to-day -day toils that of being the most powerful sim in the kingdom. So we're going to take a little time off, a vacation, a break, a little time off. No matter what the name, a monarch is entitled to one every now and then. So we're going to use Lady Gianna, or Gina, Gina, I think. Anyway. It was all a bit much. The peasants who came had petitioned for absurdly expensive whale hunts. The foreign diplomats who wanted more funding for their pet projects. The howling of the chinchillas that rose from the forest each night. It was time for a royal holiday and fast. But where to go? Lady Gina resolved to ask her advisor, who always provided sound advice. We're going to go ask about vacation destinations. Well, Your Highness, there are two places that I would recommend. The first is a small town called Luffington, nestled among cozy rolling hills. The other is the bustling, bustling city of Smortley. Uh, some of your villagers may know more about these places, so I would encourage walking amongst the people and hearing what they have to say. Perfect. So we need to ask someone about Luffington. So let's... Go to the town square. There we go. Now I can finally ask him. Ah, uh, yes. I have been to Luff Luffington. Uh, or Luffeting. Uh, quite a trip it was. Most people are quite friendly. But the ales and wines, oh, the ales and wines, they were simply the best drinks I had ever drunk. Perfect, so we have to ask someone about Swartley. And it cannot be the same person, apparently. So let's go back to the castle. She could also use some, you know, food and sleep.
While the bustle of Swartley isn't for everyone, there's always something there that'll entertain. They revel in spectacles and the daily tournament and have daily tournaments and feasts. I had a grand time and would recommend a visit to Smortley for anyone. All right. Let's go to Luffington. So we're going to get some sleep. make some bear soup. So we're going to eat that up and now we're going to go to the docks and we're going to va vacation. The air in Lifferington was crisp as Lady Gina walked into the famed Leaping Lamb Tavern. The bartender extended his hand, broke into a jovial smile, and regarded Gina with a surprise. We don't get much royalty in here, but you royals need your drinks as much as the rest of us, eh? Today's special, all you can drink Lifferington ale or wine. Choose one and choose wisely. Um, we are going to try some wine. The bartender poured a small tumbler of Leffington wine for Lady Gina and gave her a wink. Gina took a sip and immediately overwhelmed by the flavor. She quickly ordered another and savored the taste. This was, to put it simply, magnificent. All right, so now we need to send a request for the recipe. We also need to pass an edict and write two new laws, so we're going to head home. Center box. Okay. Send request for recipe. I sent the request to Leffington, but I can't just sit around waiting. My craving is too strong. Maybe I can rebuild the drink from memory. So the first thing we're going to do is propose an edict. Uh, establish an officially recognized bank 
of the Kingdom of Trigny. We'll do that because it's got no downside. And let us... So most people like the standard wage of all builders. So we're going to call for a vote. And we passed it. Beautiful. So now we need to try to create Leffington wine. Yeah, we don't have that yet, so. Should see if I can try to create the Leffington wine I had from memory. One of these recipes may be the right one. Okay, I see. So we just need lots of grapes. So we need to go to the village. Shops, which oh. <laughs> I know we need wheat, so. I'm just going to add something to the cart. go try brewing again. Ugh, I don't have enough money to brew. Now I do.
Letter has arrived. We at the Lefferington Brew Academy take great pride in our brews and are happy to hear you enjoyed one while visiting. As a token of our appreciation, we have closed a book detailing the recipe you asked for. Please spread the word about Lefferington and happy viewing. Let's read it. We need barley. Ugh. Back to the village shops. Grab one more egg or two. There we go. And now let us go home. So now let's go back upstairs. Go brew the actual wine that we need. That's what I'm talking about. What a great reward at the end of a grand vacation. I should write a proper note of thanks to the Leffington Brew Academy. So before I do that, we're going to make some food because we are hungry. And also very tired. Mysterious shuffling, shuffling sounds slowly begin to stir Lady Gina from slumber. With sudden alarm, she realizes there was another presence in the room. Lying perfectly still, uh, Gina quickly weighs her options. She can take a peek if Lady Gina could carefully get a peek at the intruder without being detected. Maybe she could decide the best course of action, or she can feign sleep. In time... The presence would leave on its own or at least give Lady Gina a better opportunity to react to the intrusion. We're going to take a peek. Lady Gina dared to sneak one eye open just a crack in the far corner. A small shimmering creature hovered, glaring balefully at her. It was holding something that, resemb that resembled a tooth. While an irritated tisk, with an irritated tisk and a flap of glittery wings, the intruder was gone in a flash. Alas, it was but a dream within a dream. All right, so we're just going to go grab some more food. And 
let's see, we have to write a treaty of ongoing peace and hunt and kill a boar. Well, we can do the treaty of ongoing peace now. And then we can also write the note of thanks right after. The letter was written and there's only one thing left to do. Drop it off to the messenger post and send it on its way. Send letter of thanks. Quest completed. Uh, as the carrier pigeon flew off into the sky carrying the official note of thanks, Lady Gina sighed contently. The vacation had gone well. Gina had learned something new and she would now be able to return to her duties as a monarch with a renowned, with a renewed fervor. Uh, Gina looked out onto the horizon and smiled and just for a moment it almost seemed as if the entire kingdom smiled with her. So there we go. As the renown of Songville grew, its political standing among the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Songville found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand re reception hall was finally unveiled. So there we go. We now have the grand... Um, the Grand Hall. So, um, let's get the spy quarters too. There was no point in creating buildings to house and train the military if they were going to be completely vulnerable to attack. Thus, thick stone walls, thick stone city walls were erected along with the stru these structures to defend against the mishmash of rebel rousers, barbarians, bandits, Thieves and deadly chinchillas. Um, and there's our spy. And there's our walls. All right. So that is going to end this episode. We still have lots of quests to go. So, uh, don't forget that I post my videos every single day. Please like and subscribe, and I hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your day. TTFM!